need our clean. But it was in the inside, not the out. Because if the inside changes, the outside becomes automatic. Amen. If the inside changes, oh, the walk has to be If the inside changes, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. If the inside changes, the things I do with my hands that I used to do, I don't do no more. I mean more. <laughs> so, so what I do with my eyes and my nose and, and my legs and my feet, I, I, I used to do something, but now I've been clean come on, come on. inside. So now everything changes. I'm almost, almost there, almost there. Because, because the leprosy, the Bible says that the leprosy left him immediately. It departed from him. So therefore the leprosy was also a spirit. See, we come to church, the doctor give us a bad report, and we start crying. Hello. We start crying. And it's because of leprosy. That's religion. It's unbelief. Just because the doctor said something, I'm the doctor Jesus. Amen. Amen. He told me by his stripes I'm healed. Amen. And I need to start speaking the truth instead of waddling in the truth. I mean waddling in a lie. Speak the truth of the word of God. Isn't God good? The Bible tells us that Jesus was in full contact with his brother. He put his hand on him. That's another, that's another sermon. Well, he put his hand on him first, and then he talked to him. And he said, I will be thou clean. And this morning, God says to us, I will be thou clean. Well, how can I be clean, Jesus? He says, but if thou shalt, if you confess your sins, he says, I'm faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all of unrighteousness. But if we say that we have no sin, we make him a liar. Yes, sir. The Bible says that his truth is not in us, his word is not in us. So we need this faith. We need to walk in this faith today, knowing that what happened to this man, the same thing can happen to you and I. Now I ask you this morning, where is your faith? How do you operate in your faith? Are you developing your faith? Are you standing the word day in and day out? Are you talking to the Lord throughout the day? Or do you pay attention when the Spirit of God is speaking? Do you actively move in God's direction like a lady told me at work? She said, well, you know, based on what you're all going through, you should take this route right here. And I told her, I'm not taking that route. She said, who are you talking to? And I said, I said, I said I'm not going to take that route. In all respect, ma'am, I said, I'm going this route. She said, well, what route is that? I said, this is the root of Jesus. Yeah. And I said, well, all of this is over with. I said, I'm going to sit down with you, and i got to tell you what happened on how I took the road and it worked for me. So in other words, i got to tell about Jesus. Amen. Do you trust him today, or do you try him? Religion tells us to conform, but faith says to us to transform. You know, I, I can't do anything without faith. I can't even love you without faith. <laughs> I can't walk as I need to walk without faith. I can't preach without faith. I can't do anything. I need faith. It moves God. It moves Him. So if He hasn't moved in your life, check out your faith. And in the end, I'll tell you this morning, what was amazing about Mark chapter 1, verse 45. There's a lot of things in the story I can't cover today. But Jesus told him to go show yourself to the priest. And instead of him going to show himself to the priest, if you were cleaned inside, what would you do? I'd get to the priest eventually. <laughs> But I gotta go tell mama them. <laughs> I gotta go tell my auntie. Yeah. I gotta go tell Dex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, coach. coach. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says in Mark 1 45, but he went out and began to publish it much. Mm -hmm. And to spread or blaze abroad the matter in so much that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was out in desert places, and they came to him from every corner. Mm -hmm. He told everybody that he had been clean. Amen. 
The Bible says that and Jesus healed them. Yeah. Don't lose sight. Because of his testimony, people got saved. Yeah. Not cleaned, because Jesus cleaned him, but these people were healed. Yeah. There's a difference between the two. So God is calling us out this morning. He says, are you the one that want to be clean? Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one that need to be clean this morning? Amen. Are you the one that need to be clean down inside? Yes. Are you the one? Are you the one that the Spirit of God is speaking to today? He said, I want to use you. And I've set a course. The Spirit of God told me, I'm going to use stay the course. Don't you get off this course. Everything that you need is on this course. It's going to bump you a little bit, but just I'll teach you how to get out of the way of it. And then come back and just keep going. If you find that you're leaning to the side, I'm going to pop you back up and you're going to keep going. I ask you this morning, is the Spirit of God speaking to you this morning that you need to be clean inside? He says when you clean inside, you're going to drop everything that deals with religion. You're going to walk by faith and not by what you see. You're going to love your sister. You're going to love your brother. You're not going to be fighting each other physically and mentally and spiritually. You want to be with one accord and you're going to move direction that God says I call you to go. Yeah. I ask you all to stand this morning. Deep in the deepness, y'all have to day off. Yeah. I ask you this morning. Do you want to be clean inside? This is a serious thing. Because when God speaks, he doesn't speak just to speak. <laughs> He speaks because there is a need and there is a purpose. It is up to us to respond to his purpose. And what we have to do is that we have to internalize this thing. It's not about me. It's not about the person beside you. We have to look eternally, internally in us. And we have to ask ourselves, it's not my mama, it's not my daddy, no, it's me. It's not my sister, not my brothers, not my aunt, not my uncle, not grandma. It's me. I stand in need of prayer. Today, I need to be cleaned inside. So I ask you, if you need to be cleaned inside, I just want to pray for you. You can come on up here. Come on up here. And I pray for you. If you want to be clean inside. I always say that the uh, the most dreaded day in the week and the dreaded time of the week is after a sermon. Because it's 